sing up here. I'm so grateful for a wonderful pastor and uh, such a wonderful staff we have here. I'm so grateful, wonderful wife, and I'm so happy that we made it back safe and sound for General Conference, and it was a wonderful opportunity, and I thank God for allowing us to go. Amen. But I have a quick word I'd like to share with you. I'd like to turn to Isaiah 6 and 8. Isaiah 6 and 8 says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, Isaiah, Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. And then in Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 through 38, it says that Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith unto his disciples, The harvest is truly plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers in to his harvest. Amen. I'd like to pray real quick over this word. Lay your Bibles down and let's reach out one more time. Ask God to touch our hearts and prepare us tonight, Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We worship you, Lord God. Uh, we honor you tonight, God. I pray, Lord, uh, be with this word, God. Help us, Lord Jesus. Uh, shake us out of our comfort zones, Lord God. Uh, help us get ready to go out to the harvest, Lord Jesus. Uh, stir us tonight, Lord God, and change us forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. The theme of this year's general conference was send, send, with a postage stamp, send. It was all about sending missionaries back into the field, sending church planters and ministers into home, the home missions field, and preaching the word. If you're waiting for end times, you're too late. They're already here. It's already here. Prophecy is unfolding every day. Tonight, there's going to be the final blood moon of the Tetrad. Tonight, later at 11, I believe, uh, a blood moon that's prophesied in the Bible. The one world government is rapidly forming. People are receiving the Holy Ghost in record numbers, in a record pace around the world. More churches are being planted. More revival is happening. Today, we are living in the end times right now. Hallelujah. See, at General Conference, we were, they were able to send again this year out most every missionary. I don't, I'm not sure if we were able to send all of them, but it was over $3 million offering. So none of those missionaries had to go on deputation and travel for months. They can go straight back to the countries where God sent them. Hallelujah. It was a miracle. Hallelujah. Because God's telling the church, it's time to send you back out. It's time to go back out. It's time to go back to your countries where I called you to and witness and do Bible studies and preach. Because we're living in times we don't have time to travel around. We don't have time to wait anymore. It's time for the God to send us. It's time for us to accept God's calling to be sent out. It's not time to sit idly by as an observer on the sidelines. But it's time for the apostolic church to go and bring forth the gospel. To bring the sinner back in the church. To bring the alcoholic. To bring the brokenhearted. To bring those who thirst and hunger for righteousness into the church. Because God said go. And we need to listen to his voice tonight. It's not time to sit around. It's not time to get comfortable on our pew. But it's time to go out and witness and minister and shine your light. Hallelujah. Because we're living in the end times. Jesus said the harvest is white, but where are the laborers? Where are those that would go out? I ask this church today, where are the laborers God's calling? There's plenty out there. There's plenty of sinners. That's not the problem. There's plenty of opportunity to witness, but where are the workers? Where are the, wor where are the worshipers? Where are the preachers? Where are the home Bible studies? God's trying to send us out to this world. Who will go tonight? Who will accept God's calling? In Jesus' name.